to a new tutorial where we're going to uh, explain on setting up a slider that you can use currently for a couple of things like the intensity or any functions of the light for now we will be adding more functionalities to the slider in the next version but now I will show you how to set up very easy and uh, what you can do with it so from the VR element menu we select the slider we give uh, light control name then we will give the background image of the slider uh, this and the slider itself the slider the handle image uh, we can play with the scale but I prefer that doing um, in the in the edit itself so you can see what it is the minimum and maximum value value that you can put in what is depending on which you, what your purpose is then the slider value is you go from 0 to uh, 0 0.5 or we go all the way then we want modify link target so we want to have a target linked so we select our light what do we want to control the transformation or the light itself let's say the light and then we can select all the options of the light what you see over here that we then can, can control with the slider but in this case let's control the intensity with the light or intensity of the light with the slider and then we say link target and then we say create slider so we have created our light control we move it here and this is usually very useful when you use the vibe controller or the leap motion we'll explain how to set up the leap motion in another video tutorial as well as the vibe controller so this is now con controlling as you said as is described over here directional light and the target property that is controlled is the intensity so if we hit run and we select the light control now I can turn on or like control the intensity value from 0 to 1 as described or explained before you can control all the other properties of the light as well the, the angle of the shadow the bounces everything that you want so you can have multiple uh, sliders for each light for example but we will be adding more functionalities for other properties of other objects so you can create uh, use this for example for when you're building a car configurator for example where you want to now we can also turn uh, like rotate objects if you so if I select an object for example and drag it over here and it will give me transform mesh filter box for the mesh render if I say transform and it creates slider it will uh, rotate my object actually so uh, we'll describe that later and maybe we can do another tutorial on once we add more functionalities so this covers now the slider the only uh, VR element that is left is the trigger area that we will cover in the next video tutorial hey hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial